63 consecutive months of higher employment than the national average. Because Rob Leone just said that. It's never happened in the history of our province. We've got a heading toward a $30 billion deficit, tripling of our debt to $411 billion. Tripling. And we have over half a million unemployed women and men in our province in Ontario today out there looking for a job. It's populations of Burlington and Brampton combined. But when I have my town hall meetings and I look at people and I say, you know what, I've got a sense of optimism. That there is a better future out there. And that when Ontarians have dared to dream of new and different ideas moving forward, we always succeed. And heads start to nod. And when I say I'm optimistic about a better future for our great province, they continue to nod. And you should be optimistic too. We have incredible natural advantages. Hard-working people. Driven entrepreneurs. A province that knows how to build, grow, mine, forge. We make things. Products and services that are desired world over. We're right in the heart of a massive trading network. 135 million consumers right here in the heart of North America. We have priceless advantages. The only thing holding us back we need new leadership in our province to unleash that potential and drive Ontario forward. But I worry about the path that we're on. Higher taxes, more spending, bigger deficits. We're actually spending $1.8 million more every hour than we take it in revenue today. Every hour, every day, every week. So the time we leave the breakfast this morning, will probably be over another $3 million in debt when you walk out these doors. And that's not because I was speaking too long. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it? We're offering that positive vision of conservative change. You know, we can be the usual opposition party and say what's wrong with the government, that's not us. We're here to talk about our bold conservative vision for a brighter future of the province of Ontario. The Ontario PC that put forward a plan to create 200,000 jobs in the skilled trades. The other parties are against it. But we're going to keep fighting. It's the right thing to do to take our trades out of the 1970s and bring them to the 21st century to put people back to work in Kitchener, Waterloo. <laughs> Number two, if we really want to get our economy moving, we have to create a sense of overall confidence. I went to New York City not that long ago and I sat down there with some of the investment bankers, the financial institutions, the bond rating agencies, the credit rating agencies like Moody's that sadly just downgraded us last week. And I said to them, when you're talking to presidents or prime ministers or governors or premiers, what have you, you say, what are the top three things that you can do to bring jobs and investment to your home community? Here's what they said. Number one, rein in your spending, balance your books and pay down your debt. Number two, Rein in your spending, balance your books, and pay down your debt. <laughs> we have an energy policy that's taken an historic strength of reliable, affordable energy and turned it on its head. We've gone from having the lowest energy rates for competing states and provinces, heading towards the second highest in North America. That can't stand. We can no longer afford to pay ten times the price of power in these subsidies for solar and wind at the wrong path for our province. Part of reducing the cost of doing business, lower taxes on businesses and entrepreneurs. We live in 2012. Money can go anywhere in the world. And if we want to attract investment in our province, lower taxes on job creators, investors, and innovators.